much it's so really nice for that. It's just a price that I put on trees around uh, Central Asia. The rough run held um, during the last day for the Soviet Union. Uh, the question was whether to preserve the Soviet Union or not. And the majority, the devastating majority of people in Kyrgyzstan, and that was about 90 something percent, voted to uh, approve the referendum and said, yes, we want to preserve the Soviet Union. You know, we didn't have much of a you know, nationalistic movement. Besides that, of course, during the historical times, we had this you know, the revival of Kyrgyz language, but it wouldn't occur to anybody that. This empire was falling apart. You had the sudden dismantling of the state as people knew it. In the, you know, the last Soviet years were full of food shortages, you know, material goods, you know. Uh, and I was then a teenager and I remember spending, you know, lots of time in bread lines, you know, or for example, we didn't have soap for weeks. You had the dismantling of the economy. The ruble was replaced by the som. Lots of people did not understand what was going on. Lots of people lost money during this period. The, the rubles that they had saved had suddenly become um, devalued and worth nothing. And they had to move to the Somme, which they didn't fully understand the, the repercussions of this. Within the first few years, you had privatization of state lands. Coal horses, these collective farms were uh, partitioned off. Uh, and then whether the partitioning was fair and just or not is, is still remains a question for today. Initially, in the first years, uh, people did not understand what was happening. And they, they did not know actually what was capitalism, what was the market economy. It's all the time during the Soviet Union, they were talking about capitalism from only bad sides. That cap capitalism is about bribing, humiliating the rights of somebody uh, capitalism means that there is a big distance between like uh, poor and rich and etc etc but nothing specific you had to have you had to find a new leader this created some contention as well as no one had really voiced their opinion about who should be leader as such and there had never been this moment when there was such a debate about who should lead the new country and what kind of powers they should have <laughs> We were very hopeful, and uh, uh, President Akayev promised us that we'll be Switzerland of Asia. You know, but slowly but we realized that it's the corruption. Uh, Sarakayev became very corrupt man.